Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the fourth tutorial. This tutorial uh, contains the placing of doors and windows. In this example we're going to place some windows, but you can use it to place doors as well. We're going to place them in a wall. So first what we're going to do is draw a wall. So let's say for the example a wall over like so. Connect it. Yes. All right. Now we want to place a window. So let's say window. And let's say I want to place it here and here, here one, like so. Or we can use Dynamo to do this for us. So let me delete these old windows, like so. And let's open Dynamo. Here's Dynamo. All right, I already opened a file. For this tutorial, we need a package. So the package, what we need is Springs. Or spring nodes. So if you go to package and we say search for a package, oh, it's already there. Springs. Type in this and you get spring nodes. If you click on it, you can download and install the latest version. This version is used in this script. So version 121.1.1. Let's close it. If you download and install the package, you can start with the tutorial. So Let's get started. First thing what we need with search is a family by point. And here we got a, a normal uh, by point, a normal node. This is uh, a built in from Revit. And as you can see, we can put in a family type and a point, and it gives us our element or our family instance. <coughs> Sorry, guys. But this node cannot. Uh, place windows and doors inside a wall. It 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 won't work because um, the wall is the hosted object of our window and our door. So that's why we need a package and the spring package. In the spring package, there is a node called hosted instance by points. Let's open it, and this node allows us to give in a host, a family type, and a point and it returns our family instance or our element. So let's get started. The first thing what we need is a host and in our case, the wall. So let's say category, categories, and our category are walls. So let's open the drop down menu and search for walls. I put in the, the W, so it will uh, pop to the W. So here is walls. And what we need is we need our elements from our category. So if you uh, look a little bit down over here, all elements of category. We click on it and we connect category to category, of course. If we run the script, we can see we got wall one, two, three, and four. If we go back to our Revit file, we see we draw four walls. If I draw a fifth wall, so let's say over here, my fifth wall, just for the example. And if I say run, you can see we have five walls right now. So this is uh, a live update from our Revit file or from our model. So if we delete this wall, let's delete it and let's hit run again. We have our four walls back. All right. Well, we can connect our elements to our uh, host because these are our host elements. We want to place the window inside the wall. The next thing what we need is our family type. So we type in family type. There it is, family type. And for this family type, uh, we need a wall or a door. Uh, in this example, we are using a window or a wall of a door. Sorry guys, uh, we need a window or a door. And in this example, we're gonna use a window. And this window is from uh, your ID. We made an application at your ID. So you can quickly download um, objects from uh, manufacturers. So if we click here, this is trial version, trial. And we search for window, let's search. Uh, window R20, let's open it. And we can here download our file, download our family. All right, let's download it. Uh, the next thing that I need to do is uh, let's go to insert and load our family. 
Load family. I'm going to PC because it's in downloads on my PC. Go to downloads and let's open our window. Open. Need to update because it's a window from 2009. All right, it's done. Let's go back to Dynamo. Well, Dynamo. What the? Dynamo, sorry, it was on my other screen. That's why. And let's select our window. So, W, window, and let's get this type. All right, and let's connect the family type into the family type of our node. All right, the only thing what we need right now is a point to place the family instance on. So we need to create a point inside our wall. So first what we need is to extract our uh, geometry from our wall. We can do this really easy by, sorry, by searching for element element let me type it right location and there's a node called get location and this node gives us if you put in a wall it gives us the host line of the wall so let's connect it and let's run so you can see what i mean as you see it gives us lines and the start and the x points and the factor as well or the direction let's go back Let's zoom a little bit out in Dynamo so we can see this. These are our hosted lines, our reference lines for the walls. Now we want to create, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. The next thing what we need to do is to create a point for our uh, window. So for example, we want to put a window here and one here. So how are we going to do it? Well, we have a node for it. It's called equal. Or it doesn't actually call it equal, but if you type in equal, you scroll a little bit down and there is points at equal chart length. This is what we need. This node allows us to, um, it divides the length of the, of the uh, line and then puts points on it on equal length. So let's give me an example curve if we run it you can see we got uh, some points there are 10 points because the default value is 10 and uh, for the example we want to put two windows in every wall so let me get a number number and let's say two connect the two to our divisions so it will divide uh, two points and as you can see Every wall has two points, point one, point two. And the length of our corner to our point and the point to our other point and the point to our other corner is exactly the same. So we don't have to worry about, uh, I want to, where, where, where's the middle of it? I don't know. We use curve points equal chart length. Let me shift this over here and let's off right so so now we got our points the only thing what we need for a window is uh, we don't want to place them on the floor so if i go back to Revit, oh there as you can see the points were on the floor i don't want to put my uh my window like here i just want to put it here a little bit offset from a ground so we need to oh go back to dynamo so we need to elevate it, elevate the points. And the easiest way to do this is to just point and get. So we can extract our points. So we can extract our points in coordinates. So the point, point X, point Y and point Z. These are our coordinates of the points. So you can see, oh, I need to run it first, sorry. Run. All right, this is our point. Our first point is on X coordinate 25,000. So if I click on it, maybe we can see, no, we cannot see it, sorry. If we click here on it, oh, not selected. Let's open this, this point, yes, now we can see it, it's over there. 
So what we can do now is, let me close this one, we can manipulate our points. So let's say we want to go higher. We need an add, an add. And we connect up our Z point. So in the X. And we need a number. And we will add this number to our uh, point number. So our point is currently at zero because it's on the ground. And let's say I want it to be a half meter. So a half meter. I connect it up. Run. And now our point should be at a half meter. Or our points are coordinate. It's at a half meter. Now we need to recreate the point. So let's say point by coordinate. Yes. We don't want to change our X and a Y uh, coordinate. So we put it straight in like so. And we did change our Z coordinate. So let's put our manipulated coordinate in the Z direction. Or And as you can see, <coughs> we got a second point in the air. And this point we're using for our family. So, oh, before you connect this to our, uh, before you connect the point to your hosted instance, make sure your uh, script is on manual. If you have it on automatic, it will crash. I don't know why, but it will. So make sure it's on manual. So let's connect it and let's run the script. As you can see, it made eight um, windows. If we go to Revit. You can see it didn't create it on our points. It created a window in, on the corner, here two in a corner. So what's going on? So let me undo it. Control C. All right, and let's go back to Dynamo because uh, this is our own fault. I can show you what's wrong. So if we use watch and we put in the point and I copy it. We use our elements watch. So let's run it so we can see what's going on. As you can see, the points list, it contains zero, one, two, and three, and it's inside the list. And this is not a list. Yeah, it says it's a list, but we got here three layers and we have two layers over here. So that's the problem. So we need to convert this elements to a three layer list. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're doing this by using the transpose. Transpose. And we hit in our elements in the transpose in the, in the input. And if we hit run, you will see <coughs> that the list is still the same. We still have two levels and they're all in the same level. But if we uh, select the transpose and we hit other mouse button or the right button. Uh, a menu opens and we can choose uh, our lacing and we can set it to longest. Right now it's shortest. So if we hit it to longest and we run the script again, you will see it has now three levels over here and we have list one contains one wall. And list two, list three, and list four. And it's the same order or the same structure as our list from our points, as you can see. So now, let me delete this one and delete this one as well. And let me delete our elements. Yes, I created some elements because I run the script a few times. So let me just delete all of them, like so. And if we connect our new list to our host like this let me turn this off and we hit run you you will see it made eight windows again but the difference is it placed them on the right points in the right wall it's now time to open a script that your id made so let me just delete this and let me save this for you guys so save uh, placing window, yes, save, yes, so you can download this, this from our website, uh, we will put a link in the description. So now let's open our uh, script, so placing window, open, alright, 
Here's our uh, script for placing the windows. We made a custom node for all the uh, weird nodes that we had. Let me open it. All weird nodes for all the, as you can see, it's the same structure, exactly the same. Only we use, uh, we put it in a custom node. So it's, uh, we have a better view of our script. So let me close this because look at this, how small. All right. Uh, the input for our thing is we got a height. We got a number of this number means uh, how many windows we want in our walls. And we have our family type as well and our walls. So we can, uh, I didn't call the walls inside the custom node because maybe we want to filter our walls first. So for example, we want only brick walls and we want to put a window in only all the brick walls. So that's why I, I did put this up in the custom node. Uh, the only thing that we need to do is draw ourselves some walls. So let's go to architecture and wall. Um, no, cancel. Let me just draw, yes, some walls like this. And let's go back to Dynamo. And let's say I want our window inside it. Window. And 10 times, no, make it 5 times. And I can say run. And now, if we go back to our Dynamo, oh, we can see it put in five windows. Uh, doing good. Nice, nice. <coughs> so this is what you can do with the script. You can also filter your uh, walls. So if you, uh, for example, you want only uh, your basic wall generic eight, uh, you can uh, put some filters in it. But uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and visit our website.